Hello, how do you do? And welcome to the first episode of Making a Drum Machine, where we talk about this drum machine. Wow. Um, I thought we should probably start with the sequencer and the master clock modules, so we have something to trigger our drum voices with. And before we get to the sequencer, we need something to clock the sequence with. And that's the master clock module. Mm -hmm. So here it is. So this is a very very so this is a very very simple square wave oscillator circuit based around the CD4106 chip, and it's a very common circuit in simple DIY projects. And that makes it perfect for what we need because we don't really need CV control over the oscillator and we don't need any waveform outputs other than the square wave. So a very simple thing like this works beautifully. And I designed a PCB for this. Thank you very much PCB Way for sending me the circuit boards. Yeah. And um and um one. It's not a good design, but it's it's a design. There's six oscillators in one board, but you don't have to build all of them. I, for example, built only four in my module. I did forget to add a decoupling capacitor for the IC chip, and I do recommend adding one, because that helps with some bleeding of the oscillators to the power rails and then the whole system and you know eventually your output but that's a very simple thing you just solder a cap from the power input of the IC to ground and keep the cap close to the IC chip thank you PCB way there's a link to the Gerber files of the PCB in the description if you want to order these yourself. And if I make a new version of the board, then I will update the link. Mm -hmm. So here's the schematic for one oscillator. So you can build six of these with one CD4106 chip. You can change the capacitors of the oscillators to get different pitches and ranges. With lower values you get higher pitches and with higher values you get lower pitches. So you can use this as an audio rate oscillator as well. And we are going to use this as an audio rate oscillator later in a symbol module. There's also a sync input for the oscillators. With that you can get some weirder rhythmic stuff. But I'll demo that as I demo the thing. Well, that's about it. Um, now let's go and check out the module. Well, here we have it. Let's turn on the system. I kind of made one of the four oscillators the main clock. You know, it's this one. It, it does not have a sync input and it has a huge knob, just like me. I also added a switch that says range and it also says pulse width on the other side. And uh, what it does is it, it just adds a simple diode to the oscillator circuit and that makes the square wave or the duty cycle very narrow so it's a short pulse but I really haven't used that kind of at all because it doesn't interact that well with the other circuits I have in the system so this doesn't matter and you don't have to care about it because I don't care about it and I also added a simple switch to disconnect the output from the circuit so you can you know pause your music so there's really not that much to it it's a simple square wave LFO so 
If we take the output and we plug it to a mixer, we can hear a square wave LFO. And if we increase the rate, this one does go to audio rates. But we don't really want to listen to our clock, because it's a clock. Uh, so let's plug it into our sequencer module. Wow. Now we have a sequencer running. And the next video is going to be about the sequencer. So, so you know, subscribe and hit the, all the buttons. And, well, this is what I about 90% of the time use the module for. A simple master clock. What can we do with the other clocks here and the sync inputs? Now I'll plug the master clock to a bass drum. And let's see if we can hear something. Yes, we can. So now if we patch a hi-hat sound to the next clock, we have two voices that are out of sync. But if we take the output of the master clock and connect it to the sync input of the second clock, we get nothing. If the synced oscillator is running at a lower frequency than the master, then you get no oscillation. But as we raise the rate, we get a synced thing. And if we raise it even more, we get multiple hits. So it's kind of a sequence. And we can get weird grooves going. And then we can add another voice. This is a cowbell. And once again, we are out of sync. But let's sync it to the second oscillator. Mm -mm. And if we connect the sync to the same master clock, we can get a little bit of a different groove than in the second oscillator. I mean, this is a pretty cool sequence, considering it's just our clock module. Three clocks. Right? This could be a song. Okay, let's add the last clock as well. Why not? This is another hi hat uh, noise sound.
And now as we change the rate of just the master clock, we kind of get different, different weird rhythms. Because the other clocks, they are synced, but they do have like their own rate. So... I think this is fun. Well, that's the module. Wow. Thank you, PCBWay, for sending me the circuit boards. And thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye. Bye.